One day I was sitting in my house, minding my business, watching English Premier League as usual. I confess my sin. That one that they watch out, that football. Uh, anyway, and I had the Lord tell me, call Ima Idachaba now and tell him to leave where he is. Uh, what if the man is in his house or is in the bathroom or the man is in the toilet? What is my own to calling him? And that illustration speaks to covering in your life. He was in a meeting somewhere, some kind of political meeting in his village. And the Lord told me to tell him to leave the place. I was like, okay. I kind of, you know, I had it a second. So I, 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 called, I didn't even know he traveled. I said, Ima, where are you? Uh, I said, uh, you know, because he didn't tell me he was traveling, his, his tongue was doing one kind. I said, where are you? He says, in a meeting. I said, where? I said, I said, okay. You need to leave that place now. Now, it's like, ah. it was just, you know, he was trying to explain to me how important the meeting was and so on and so forth. I'm trying to even find the guy. Maybe his story will help somebody. Is that Dikini Dachaba? Please come. Because someone will tell this to people who don't believe them sometimes. And so, remember, Posey has encouraged me that if the person is around, I should give the person the mic. You are the one who are doing school of ministry. You say I should give Oshino what the mic. Say people don't. Some of your stories are so one kind. Ima, you are here. The day I called you, that you should live where you are. Tell your own part of the story. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, what happened was I. I needed to travel home for a meeting. Normally, before I travel, I like to tell my father that I'll be traveling. But this time, I didn't tell him. <laughs> because there was so much pressure from home. I actually didn't want to travel. But the pressure was much. So I just decided to travel. So when I got home, uh, the program had started. It was actually... A, a political meeting. So I sat down. I was there, a lot of back and forth. And I decided to go and take a snack, just not too far from the center. So while I was there, I bought the snack. All of a sudden, my phone rang. When I looked at it, it was my father on the other side. <laughs> I didn't want to answer because I didn't want to lie. But eventually, I just answered because I didn't know why I was calling. So, you know, when I answered, I said, good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. He said, where are you? I said, I'm not in town. He said, where are you? I said, I traveled. Where are you? I'm at home. Leave there now. Leave there now. I was like, wow. It was really strange. And I said, okay. So, when he caught the line on the other side, I stood up. I actually took my drink and the snack and walked back to meet my associates just to tell them, sorry, I have to leave you guys now. But before I got there, gunshots. Bah, 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 bah. Bah, 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 bah. So much confusion. I was like, what is it's just like a dream. I, I was lost. I didn't know what was happening. I had to I was confused. I just stood there. People were and somebody was shot. Then all of a sudden, somebody appeared with a bike. Climb, climb. I didn't even know the person. Climb, climb. That was how I climbed the bike and I escaped the place. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> By the counsel of Reverend Okosio, that's why I'm doing that, you know. The thing with these things is that I say that your spiritual um, father is a gate, your oversight is a gatekeeper over your life. Even though Lot had gone as far as was concerned God still connected lots with this guy sorry to say you know where the Bible says it says some people are weak some are sick some even die not discerning the Lord's body real fathers are not trying to dominate you 
They actually want to serve you. They want to make sure that you, you, are, you are out of harm's way. Well, let me say now, let's say this man was not connected to me. There are sometimes I'm preaching here. You hear me say, leave that guy alone in the name of Jesus. Take your hands off. It's not part of my message. I just saw something like a flash. One of my people sit there and stand and snuff them out. But why should God bother me if I'm not your father? Or if you are not part of this house? Sometimes in mercy, God will do that. So it's very important that we stay under, like Pastor Tina said, that house is a covering. And the fact that you have got one or two revelation words from God does not mean you should go and open church. Because some churches are not registered in heaven. They may have CAC certificate, but heaven did not register them. There are candlesticks when God gives you a ministry. There are many stories like that.